hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this beautiful victorian corset top this top is so beautiful i'm going to be showing you how to snatch your waistline how to achieve a zipper fix on this so guys let's go ahead to the drafting so i'm going to be starting my tip from five inch mark then i'm going to be marking the length of my blouse the reason why i started from the five inch mark was because i wanted my corset to be covered i wanted it to be modest enough to cover my boobs i don't want it too exposed so i started from the five inch mark and now i'm just marking the length of my blouse So from there on, I decided to mark the biggest part of my body, which is my hip. I divided that by two and I added one inch to that. So my hip was 39 divided by that by two. I got 19.5 and I added one inch to that. So that is 20.5. I went ahead to mark the points and join them together. So now the next thing I did here was to divide the measurements again into two. So dividing 20.5 by 2, I got like 10.25. I went ahead to mark the points and I joined them together. So now I have my front and I have my back now i'm just going to be labeling them so the next thing i did here was to mark my vertical measurements i started with my bust points then my under bust line my waist line then i went ahead to mark my chest line which was 7.5 the chest line is also called the arm o line so there's a calculation for that you divide your bust by six then you add 1.5 inch to that so that was how i got my 7.5 i went ahead to connect the points together so now i went ahead to label the point my chest line, my bust point, my under bust line, and my waist line. Now I'm going with my horizontal measurements. I'm going to be dividing my round measurements by four. For the waist, I added one inch for that allowance. Then for the under bust, two, I added one inch for that allowance. On the hip side, I didn't have anything. I just divided my hip by four. Okay, I think I added half inch for ease. Then I went ahead to join the points together. Guys, this tutorial is very, very easy. Just follow the steps and you're going to be making a beautiful snatched Victorian corset in no time. So that is it, guys. I went ahead to join the points. Then I went in to mark my darts. So for my darts, I used um, 4.5. You're going to, the darts is, the 4.5 is the difference between your two nipples. So you are going to be marking that point and you are going to be connecting them together. So now once you're done connecting them, you're going to be marking your darts allowance. So I, I marked half half inch on both sides. Then I'm going to be connecting to my hip point and to my bust line. So the 0.5.5 inch on both sides is not standard. You can go ahead to use 0.75 but i used 0.5 inch 
then for the upper bust area I used one inch you can go ahead and use 0.5 inch it is still going to be fine so now I just went ahead to connect the points now for my under bust tightening I went in with 0.5 inch on the smaller side and on the uh, sides I went in with one inch then I'm going to be shaping it in that form so if you would remember we added one inch to the darts allowance so I'm going to be adding the extra 1.5 inch I added to this on the bus side later and on the waistline I'm going to be doing the same thing so I'm marking half inch on that side and one inch on the other side then I'm going to be connecting the point and I'm going to be connecting it to my hip line now I'm going to be going to the back for the back the same way I started my measurement from 5 inch then I went in with my chest line then my waistline my waistline for the front was 17 but for the back it was 15 then I went ahead to mark my blouse length which was 22 because my back waistline is shorter than my front waistline so my M line is going to be shorter as well so that's why I have 22 inch there instead of 24 I just went ahead to connect the point so you don't need that part for the back now I'm going to be going in with my horizontal measurements for the back so you are just going to place your tape in that form whatever you have on that measurement place it on the back so basically you are just dividing your horizontal measurement by 4 then for the waistline you are going to be adding 1 inch for that allowance so that is what I just did there and I'm going to be connecting my points together So now guys, for the 2 inch difference for the front and the back, I'm going to be adding it to the side bust to, um, to make the front and back equal. So you're just going to mark the 2 inch like that and you're going to be cutting that dart off later. So now for the back, I'm going in with my darts. The same 4.5 inch I used for the front, I used this for the back as well. I'm going to be connecting the points together then I'm going to mark my dart allowance so my dart allowance is half half inch so I went in with half half inch and I'm going to be connecting it to the um, chest line and the hip line Now for the back tightening, I'm going to go in with half inch, then I'm going to connect it to the chest line and the hip line. Remember for the back, we added just one inch, that's allowance. So for that back tightening, I'm going to be returning it back to the back later. So now for the front, I'm just going in to check my measurements. Remember the extra 1.5 inch we added? We are going to be adding it back to the sides so that is what I did there I'm going to do the same thing for the waist then we're going to be connecting that later for the back I'm going to go ahead to add the extra half inch for the back depth that I added I'm going to be connecting that points together so basically what I'm just doing here is whatever you add Besides your original measurements, make sure you add it back. So I'm just adding it back. Sorry, whatever you remove besides your original measurements, make sure you add it back. So now for the snatching of the waistline, I went in one inch on that waist part and I'm going to be connecting it to my hip line. So now this snatching is very, very important because it gives you that beautiful shape that you need. 
so i just went in one inch on that side and i'm going to be connecting it so i minus one inch from my waistline so what you want to do here is after minusing one inch from that waistline you want to return it back to the back yes i like returning it to the back because it, it makes my measurement still intact and the snatch waistline is still very comfortable for me it's still going to be showing that snatch effect but I'm sn i've snatched my waist i hope you understand what i'm just trying to say here so the snatched one inch that i removed from my waistline i'm going to be adding it back to the back now so that is what i'm just doing so let's assume your waistline divided by 4 is like 7.25 you're going to be removing 1 inch from 7.25 that's 6.25 then you are going to be adding the 1 inch that you remove you are going to be adding it back to the back so that's just what I did there now I'm going to be shaping my hemline so I went up like 2.5 inch then I shaped it to the hemline So you are going to be shaping it in that manner so that's how i achieved the shape in the video so you can go ahead and try it so i'll be looking forward to yours so now i'm just going ahead to shape the neckline i went down like 1.5 inch on that point then i connected it to the chest line which is also my arm hole line i did the same thing for the back I just went ahead to connect it so the depth depends on how low you want your back to be i don't want mine to be very low so i just went ahead to shape it like that so now for the other style lines i'm just going ahead to divide those points into two then i went ahead to connect them together you can as well leave your style lines like this but if you want more style lines you can go ahead and create them this way that i'm doing it so once i'm done doing that i'm just going to be labeling them so i think i have like eight here then i'm going to be connecting i'm going to be cutting So I went ahead to cut out the bust that, the side bust that, I'm going to be closing it in that manner and I'm going to be cutting every other thing out. I'm going, I went ahead to cut all the that out. So please just watch the way I'm doing it. I am going to be making your own perfect Victorian corset in no time. So I just went ahead to cut all my excesses of my darts, my sides, my neckline. So that is what it looks like. Now I joined that side both side. I had that extra paper to eat to make it align now i'm just checking if my waistline is correct so here i have like 14.2 something guys always check if your measurements are correct so now i just went ahead to divide them again the style lines that i drew earlier so guys here it is so what i'm just going to say is the more style lines you draw the more your corset is going to give you that hourglass shape you know so i'm just going ahead to so now i went ahead to cut my pattern or my fabric then i'm going to be adding lining and i'm going to be adding my stay to that so i had that my allowance i had it one inch for the m then i had it half inch for the other parts for the starting points i had it one inch for the middle of that um of the middle of the starting point i added one inch that is for the double boning i'm going to be explaining that later now i went ahead to cut lining i cut stay i cut the stay the same thing with the fabric 
the lining I cut that one inch shorter than the fabric so I did the same thing for the back there now I'm going to be going ahead with my wording this is what I used to pad my corset so you are going to be shaping it in that manner and you are going to be cutting it out so this is for the middle part I'm going to be cutting the sides as well so this is the sides guys if you have not subscribed please subscribe please like the video thank you so much for joining us we're not done yet so just follow the tutorial so now I'm just shaping my wording to add to the lining I'm going to be adding this to the lining so I'm going to be showing you how I do that so here it is I went ahead to join it to the lining then I sewed it on it sorry I hand it to the lining and I sew it on the lining like that so I went ahead to join all my pieces together so that is what the lining is giving us so you're going to be joining the bodies now so I went ahead to join the bodies this is the one inch I added to the mid parts this is for the boning you need to add one inch to the mid part for the boning for the double boning now this are the other side so here is how I fix the boning so for the boning you're going to be placing it inside in that form you're going to be starting one inch from the M line you don't want to go in too deep down because that is going to affect the sewing so you're just going to place it inside and sew very close to the boning. don't sew on the boning place so you're just going to do this for the other side as well and that is how to fix your double boning. i'm going to be showing you what it looks like now so please watch like the video so now when I'm done with this, I'm just going to be cutting it. See, I didn't get close to the M line. Now I'm just going to be finishing my sewing and I'll show you what it looks like. So guys, can you see it? That is the front. That is the right side. So now for the bias, you're going to need to join the bias the joining of where you want to place your bias to the right side and you're going to be trimming off the excesses you don't want it too much so it doesn't get too bulgy on that part so you're going to place your bias in that form remember i sewed it to the right side so you're going to be sewing very close to the m you're going to sew very close to the sewing sorry just watch carefully how I'm doing that. Then you're going to be flipping it over to cover the joining, to cover the raw edges. Then you're going to be sewing on it like that. So that is how I finish my bias. If you don't want to sew it, sew your fabric outside. You can sew it inside and just go ahead and place the bias on it. It still works like that but this is how I did it for this tutorial I sewed it outside and I placed the bias on it like that now I'm going to be going in with my boning this is after I joined my neckline I joined my neckline first because I want my boning to sit on that neckline very well so once once i join my neckline i'm just going to be fixing my boning inside all the places that i had the bias on so it's very very easy just make sure your boning is sitting perfectly then you're going to be sewing the m line and you're going to be fixing your zip you're going to be doing all this on the wrong side so now i've went ahead to do that I sew the M line and I attach the zipper so to turn it out you're going to need an opening that is what I have there that's where I used to turn it out you're going to be coming that with a fabric glue later so this is what it looks like when I'm done can you see the structure the boning is giving it so when you wear this it sits on your body thank you guys